if x is the displacement for mean from mean position and uh, v is the velocity which will be equal to dx by dt so in the since it is the first derivative of x so in the open metallica i will not be using the symbol v for velocity i will be using the symbol x1 which x1 actually means that it is the first derivative of x with respect to t and uh, acceleration of shm is actually given by d2 x by dt square so you can also write it as dv upon dt but i am using the symbol x1 so i can write it as dx1 by dt and uh, i will be rather using since uh, acceleration is the second derivative you can see here acceleration is actually the second derivative of x with respect to t so for acceleration i will be using the symbol x2 so these kind of things actually are better for uh, understanding when you are making a mathematical model on open metallica so instead of using the symbol v for velocity and a for acceleration i will be using symbol x1 for velocity and x2 for acceleration x1 stands for first order derivative and x2 stands for second order derivative then we must know that what is the potential energy so potential energy is given by two expression it is also given i as half x square half k x square sorry where k is called elastic constant or stiffness constant or it is also called spring constant or it can be written as half m omega square x square where <coughs> omega it is equal to 2 pi nu so please remember this is nu so omega is called angular frequency and this is just frequency its unit is hertz and its unit is radian per second so if i take frequency equal to 150 hertz and i will take pi is equal to 3.14 then omega will become equal to 2 pi nu that will be 314 radian per second actually i will be using this equation so <coughs> instead of half i will uh, write uh, uh, it as 0 0.5 instead of half i will use 0 0.5 in open metallica so kindly remember this Similarly, the kinetic energy it is given by the symbol K, it is equal to half m v square where v is the velocity. But since I have used the symbol x1 for velocity, so it will be in, in open metallica, I will write it as 0.5 multiplied by mass multiplied by x1 square that will be kinetic energy and total energy of the uh, particle executing simple harmonic motion it will be the sum of kinetic energy plus uh, potential energy so let me go to the next slide so what will happen you know that if uh, let us say this is simple harmonic motion i let us say use for a simple pendulum so this is the equilibrium position of the simple pendulum so there are many ways to start the simple pendulum i will choose the easiest one so let us say i take the <coughs> bob of the simple pendulum to the extreme point this point is called extreme so this is let us say extreme one this is mean so and on this side with equal distance this point will be second extreme it will be e2 so i will release it here when i will release it here it will have some initial value i will take this initial value of x to be equal to 3 centimeter so kindly remember this motion 
विल बी सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन ओनली फॉर स्मॉल एम्पलीट्यूड सो आई विल टेक इट टू बी थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो इनिशियली आई विल रिलीज इट आई विल नॉट प्रोजेक्ट इट वेन इट इज रिलीज देन इट्स मीनिंग इज दैट इनिशियल वलॉसिटी इज जीरो एंड वेन इनिशियल वलॉसिटी इज जीरो सो देर फॉर एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज नॉट जीरो बट वलॉसिटी विच आई हैव रिटर्न टू बी एज एक्स वन इट विल बी जीरो सो इफ आई ड्रा द ग्राफ बिटवीन एक्स एंड टी एक्स एंड टी सो इनिशियली इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थ्री एंड द ग्राफ विल गो लाइक दिस सो दिस ग्राफ विल वेरी बिटवीन वैल्यूज थ्री सेंटीमीटर on the one side up to minus 3 cm on the other side if i draw the graph between velocity which i have also written as x1 and these are actually equivalent and i will take the variable as t along this side i can also take the variable t along this side so now you can see so initially i have seen shown you this equation that at t equal to 0 x is not 0 you can see here at t equal to 0 x is 3 actually x is not equal to 0 but x is equal to 3 cm at t equal to 0 and uh, v is actually 0 uh, so this graph will be 0 as the um, particle executing simple harmonic motion will move toward the mean position so its kinetic energy will increase so this graph as soon as it will start from here it will go up then it will come down and go up and come down and so on here negative velocity means the direction of motion of the object is actually changed so if i see what should be the graph of acceleration you can see this equation of shm is actually d2 x upon d t square is equal to actually minus omega square x so at t is equal to 0 when t was 0 then x was not 0 so if x is not 0 you can see here then this is actually acceleration and i have used the symbol x2 for it so it means at t equal to 0 the value of x2 if x is not 0 then x2 or acceleration can also not be 0 so the graph cannot start from 0 so the <coughs> acceleration initially will be there and it will be always directed toward mean position so the graph between actually uh, acceleration and t mm, this is acceleration or it can also be x2 so this graph between x and t it should be when uh, <coughs> x is 3 so because of this negative sign so this graph should start from negative value initially so it will go somewhere here so the value will be actually this value will be actually 3 multiplied by omega square with the negative sign so this we it therefore this amplitude of acceleration it depends upon this now if we see what will be the kinetic energy so the kinetic energy will be you see since the initially it started from Um, zero so the kinetic energy initially will since the object was at mean position it will be zero then it will increase then it will decrease and it will be like this and the potential energy initially at t equal to zero the object was at extreme position so potential energy will be maximum then it will decrease 
it will touch zero then it will increase so and the total energy which will we if we can also verify the law of conservation of energy total energy will remain same so this is the graph for total energy so this is the graph for our potential energy so and this is the graph for kinetic energy and this graph is versus t kindly remember this graph is not versus x if you draw the graph of kinetic energy versus x that is the position then in that case the nature of the graph will be different at x equal to 0 the kinetic energy will be maximum and it will be then 0 and it will increase kindly remember so you can see the nature of the graph of uh, kinetic energy so uh, here along y axis in this graph i have drawn actually kinetic energy potential energy as well as total energy so the, all these three variables are there so this particular graph is of potential energy and you can see this particular graph is of kinetic energy but here these two graphs are resembling but along this it is x but in this graph along this direction it is actually t that is why the nature of the graph is changing so we will be verifying this now and let me now op open the program open Metallica and we will make a class and then simulate it okay you can see I have already made a class and the name of the class is SHM I have defined six variables x is the position x1 is the velocity x2 is acceleration u is kin potential energy k is kinetic energy e is total energy so i have taken the starting value in the example since i have taken the starting value of x to be 3 so i will use it as a 3 so the unit uh, uh, let me save it so the unit of this is actually centimeter so x1 is velocity so its unit will be centimeter per second x2 it is acceleration its unit will be centimeter per square second potential energy kinetic energy and total energy all these three will have unit erg since i am talking in terms of this uh, uh, i am talking in terms of cgs units so the unit will be erg so I have there are two constants one is the mass of the body executing SHM so its mass will be in units of gram I have taken the mass to be 10 gram and another is uh, the angular frequency so I have taken the actually the frequency to be uh, 50 hertz so as a result the angular frequency will become 314 radian per second so now I will come to the derivative equation part x1 is actually derivative of x which is the velocity x2 is derivative of x1 which is the acceleration so now this you can see <laughs> this is the equation of shm this is uh, omega into omega into x so i have used actually simple w here instead of omega w is uh, actually representing omega so <laughs> it is the angular velocity so this is actually a is equal to this equation is nothing but it is a is equal to minus omega square x and potential energy is half m omega square x square you can very easily appreciate it and kinetic energy is half m v square and total energy is sum of kinetic energy and potential energy after writing all these equations so i will end the uh, class shm let me now press this simulate button and see if there is any error it may take some while so this is now running okay the simulation is uh, complete and the process has uh, finished successfully let me now close this box now these are the all the variables and constants in this result box so let me first draw the graph of x kindly remember all those graphs that i have shown earlier so x versus t graph so since the frequency is 50 hertz so it means there are 50 cycles in one second so i must decrease the time so i will decrease the time to 0 0.01 second 
so in this time there is one complete vibration rather let me take it to be let me show some two or three uh, cycles let me take it to 0 0.04 so you can see this is shm and the cycles are very well defined so this is xt graph and you can see it is starting from 3 and uh, its minimum value is minus 3 this i have already told you let me see velocity time graph so you can see velocity is starting from 0 then it is going to minimum value negative value then positive then again negative and so on let us see what is the acceleration time graph it is again it is starting from negative extreme this i have already told you and you can see it is uh, as per our prediction in the mathematical part that i have described in my ppt so let us see what happens to the potential energy so uh, now it is time to decrease actually time scale i will refer to just one cycle so it, one cycle is completed in 0 0.01 seconds so this is the one cycle of the potential energy so you can see potential energy is maximum initially at the half cycle the potential energy becomes zero and at the full cycle the potential energy again becomes maximum let me overlap the kinetic energy graph with respect to time you can see time is there on the x-axis so kinetic energy it is as expected you can see kinetic energy is zero initially because initially the object was at rest and at the half cycle potential energy kinetic energy is maximum this is actually indicating that the kinetic energy has increased at the cost of potential energy so potential energy actually at the mean position potential energy has dropped from maximum to zero and kinetic energy has increased from zero to maximum then uh, <coughs> these points are the actually two points in one cycle where kinetic and potential energy are equal so these are actually uh, if whatever is the amplitude amplitude is actually uh, 3 centimeter is the amplitude that we have taken the initial value of x is actually the amplitude if you divide 3 centimeter by under root 2 actually this will be the coordinate so if i put this point here you can see the value of uh, x axis on <coughs> this is 0 0.00248 second if you divide uh, 3 by un uh, under root of uh, 2 <coughs> you will be finding this time uh, sorry it is uh, not the case for uh, uh, this is the time uh, of uh, you will find this value in, you divide uh, x uh, 3 by under root 2 whatever value you get that will be the value of x put that value of x in the equation of shm to find the corresponding of value of t and that corresponding value of t will be actually uh, 0 0.00254 second okay then uh, let me draw the graph of total energy and uh, yes you can see during the whole motion total energy is constant with respect to time it means law of conservation of energy is there energy is not created energy is not destroyed actually kinetic energy and potential energies are increasing and decreasing at the cost of each other so that the total energy always remains the same so i hope you can very easily understand this model mathematical model that i have drawn for <coughs> simple harmonic motion so in the next tutorial we will discuss the mathematical model for damped harmonic motion i would stop here now Till then, thank you.